The Marvels will become the first MCU title to fall short of $100 million domestic. In happier box office news, The Hunger Games, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, opened well while Saltburn and Fallen Leaves had strong limited debuts. Franchise entries, Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, Lionsgate, and Trolls Band Together, Universal, open to respectable levels, if below their precedence, to take pound one and pound two in theaters this weekend. However, the Marvels, Disney, set another record, after an MCU worst opening, $46 million, the film outdid itself with an estimated 78% drop, at $10.2 million, it's neck and neck with the opening of Eli Roth's Thanksgiving, on Monday, we'll know which one landed at pound four, not every Disney MCU film is pound one in its second weekend, but the place third or lower, is without precedent, the $220 million production stands at $65 million domestic, with no chance of reaching $100 million worldwide. It will be lucky to gross $200 million. Theaters are fortunate that three new films dared to open the week after an MC release, aided by the timing of Thanksgiving just ahead. The range of titles totaled about $115 million for the weekend, up 15% from last year. Year to date now is 22% over 2022, the lowest mark in months. That still projects to $9 million for the year but that figure is looking less certain. The Hunger Games, Prekel opened to less than half of its 2015 predecessor, Mockingsh, Part 2, $102 million, which would be around $120 million now, at $98.5 million reported worldwide, and a $100 million plus marketing budget. That seems adequate but not enough to assume a full reboot. This is the third, Trolls, installment, and the second full theatrical release. The 2020 World Tour was an early COVID casualty. The 2016 Trolls opened to $46 million on its way to a domestic $154 million. The DreamWorks animated sequel has both Thanksgiving and the potential for Christmas holdovers, although it should be on plot before then. Next week, it will see competition from Disney's Wish. That film has already grossed $108 million worldwide on a $95 million budget. Thanksgiving which originated as a Fox trailer, in Robert Rodriguez's 2010, Machete, cost a thrifty $15 million. The slasher film is a return to low-budget filmmaking for Roth, with the bonus of decent reviews. Its 63 Metacritic score the best of this week's new wide releases. The cachet of potentially besting, The Marvels, this week is a bonus. Kowei Titus, next goal wins, pound seven. Open wide to only $2.5 million in 2,240 theaters. Despite prominent festival positioning, this would be heartwarming true sports story received tepid, or worse reviews and faced a competitive market. It's the first Searchlight film to be directly distributed by Disney. Previously, Searchlight had its own team. The unit still oversees its own production, marketing, and publicity, doubling its theaters to 1,478. Alexander Payne's The Holdovers, Focus, came in pound six with $2.7 million, over $8.3 million total. It will widen further next week, with the hope that word of mouth will nudge reluctant older viewers into theaters to push this significantly further. Sofia Coppola's Priscilla, a 2-4, at pound nine near $17 million, adding $2.3 million this weekend in 1,802 theaters. Jacob Elordi stars in both Priscilla and Saltburn, Emerald Fennell's second feature, after Promising Young Woman. The Amazon MGM title had a strong $45,000 per theater average in seven New York, Los Angeles theaters, even with lukewarm reviews. 60 Metacritic, Barry Keon and Rosamund also star in the film which, per exhibitor sources, will jump to around 1,500 theaters this week. Opening very impressively for a subtitled film is Fallen Leaves, Mubai, from Finnish veteran Aki Korosmaki in two New York theaters. It grossed an excellent $25,000 per theater and received among the best reviews of the year. Of note, it's only 81 minutes. Los Angeles and San Francisco open this week. IFC opened the Sundance documentary, The Disappearance of Sheer Height, at two theaters for $17,000. A 2-4-S dream scenario, with Nicolas Cage built on its strong start last week, with $275,000 in 25 theaters. It will add more this week, with December the 1st for wide release. Todd Haynes, May December, Netflix, also among the top reviewed films of the awards season, opened at an unknown number of theaters to an unreported gross. The streamer is getting its top films out to big cities, but it's hard to cite specific value, beyond ticking off the box for a theatrical release.